Hi. It's hot in here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can tell I'm a little, I'm feeling a little warm right now. We're going to see how much of this I can get done. Um, I have a rather large Shein haul. I've resisted <laughs> for the longest time. Like, I knew I'd buy something off there eventually, but I resisted it just because I'm like, okay. But, uh, they kept, they kept advertising things that I saw and I wanted. I weren't on AliExpress. Like, sometimes you'll see things that are advertised or, like, AliExpress has because, like, Shein and Romwe, they do have, like, individual sellers on AliExpress that sell their things. So sometimes people can get confused about it. So just explaining that. But all these lovely items, this pile of stuff, are Shein items. Um, plus size, they have a pretty good plus size selection. They have items on there that I've seen on AliExpress where they didn't have plus size options, which is also part of my inspo here. So I'm going to try my best to try and things and show them off. So, and I got two dresses like this. Now, I know that sometimes sizing like isn't always like 100% accurate. And I try my best to look at the reviews and stuff, but sometimes even those can be confusing. So, like, I have one item on my desk that when I got it, I was like, ooh, that's way too big. So, I'm returning it. I'm not even bothered, like, with the whole trying it on because I could tell just by looking at it, it was way too big. So, I do your best to pay attention to the sizing, but even so, pay attention to people's comments about sizing. But, anyway, this is this cute little strawberry dress. I will say this fabric is, like, it's not see-through or anything, which is good, but it is a fabric that wrinkles easily, as you can tell, just like the way I got it from the bag. It does need to be stained or ironed, but let me show this little thing off. So this is this dress. It doesn't hug my stomach too tightly, and I got this in a 1X, which was the perfect size for this. And you know, you can adjust these little ties. I just left them the way they came pre tied, but obviously, I probably put a little bow in it, make it look a little nicer. But so, I also got it in pink, same deal, you know, exactly the same dress, 1x. And of course, same deal, not too tight around the waist. Well, ignore my bra here because it blended in better with the blue one, obviously. Okay, this is the next dress. It's like this bodycon Asian step Asian dragon dress. It's got this little key ring pole on the top. Okay, obviously this one, bodycon dress, it does kind of cling to the stomach. I will say this is pretty comfortable otherwise though. Um, it does fit. I just need some shapewear to kind of smooth that bit out, as with any bodycon dress. I will say this freaking button at the top is the bane of my existence. I'm like, I just said fuck it for now because I'm just like, I ain't got time to fuck with that thing. <laughs> We're gonna move on. <laughs> uh, let's see. For those, I got a bunch of different bike shorts, but well, wait a moment on those. Um, I'm just gonna show these uh, bikinis and not put all these on for right now, just cause. Yeah, I usually like to. Try to pre-wash bottoms, but I haven't even gotten around to all that. So I'll do my best to like show these off that they're cute. So 
this one has a nice little reflective thing going so that's that set and a lot of this stuff you know is cheap already like your your base price and everything um but then you also uh why is my brain not working they have coupons they always have coupons so i got my 20 percent off on all this stuff so Okay, this is gonna be the next thing I show, which is a uh, workout outfit. So it's got the sports bra and these uh, bike shorts. And then I'm gonna show a bunch of other bike shorts too. So I'm gonna do this set first though. Okay, these are some longer bike shorts, but it does fit well. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, it's a little... So, I don't know if that's just because my ring light makes it more noticeable. Like, uh, I don't know. In person, yeah, you can kind of, I would say, probably wear a skin color panty with this if you're going to get it. Or the other option is find a green. Because it's not terrible it's just like I'm wearing black underwear which doesn't help the situation <laughs> so you'll definitely be able to tell if anything I have is see-through uh, next pair I'm gonna try on is these where's this pair is not see-through which is good of course like any bike shorts gonna hug to your body but usually if I'm wearing bike shorts I'm wearing like a long shirt or I'm wearing uh, a shorter skirt and a crop top and having the bike shorts under or I'm just working out and like who cares right <laughs> makes my butt look so big cuz it is <laughs> I mean I'm not in denial about it these are the next ones and these ones are shorter, but these are also ones that came out of the regular sizing. So this is their regular extra large. I just noticed when I looked at the measurements that it would fit my waist. And I wanted a pair that was a little bit shorter for wearing under like tutus and stuff. Like, you know, if I go to an electronic show or something, I like having some colorful little shorts to wear under my tutus. So obviously we're not doing shit because of covid right now but in the future moving on we got these little dino booty shorts dino booty okay same deal with these i got these out of the regular sizing so these are the regular extra large and you know when they say the regular extra large fits like a us2 honestly their sizing varies so much in that end so I'd always say check out some of their stuff if you're somebody like I'm a size 18 right now and these fit me just fine like these are real cozy but like I said yeah I don't know how see-through it like it kind of seems that way but that's just the way the light's reflecting off it's actually not in person at all Next pair we're going to try out are these little tie-dye shorts. Once again, I got these in the regular straight-sized XL. Actually, I like the way they look from the back better than the front. I wish some more of that color was in the front bit here, but I think that's just how their fabric lined up. The next thing we have is a two-piece. I'm worried this one might be a little... Like, it'll fit. I'm just worried it's not gonna hug the way I like bike shorts too. I think the top should be okay because it's just supposed to be like a, not like a sports bra, but like a cami. And I, when I was looking at my sizing, sometimes I try to look at things that, this is probably some of the two pieces where I think the bottoms are gonna be a little large, but my boobs are so big where I need the larger size. So that's a little issues quite a few times actually. So, we'll see how this looks. Okay, 
These really aren't too loose, what that I'm most worried about. They're a little looser than I like bike shorts to be. I like them to kind of really fit close to the body. Uh, the top fits well, which is the reason why I got this size, because I knew the smaller size would probably be an issue for my bust. But I think I only paid like $6 for this thing. And I probably end up using these shorts more as like bumming around versus like a workout short, just because they're a little bit looser. Hey, we got these. I got two pairs like this with these little side pockets. And so I got this color and I got like a coraly orange color. Here is the like highlighter yellow. Yes, these are see-through. You can see my undies unfortunately um so that is a drawback i would definitely have to get a pair of nude panties or this if i could find panties in this color <laughs> uh i do like these pockets these are very comfortable there you can put your phone in these pockets let me see if the uh the kind of neon coral color is up. i'll say this color is a little better it doesn't look as sheer. I mean, yeah, my panties dark, but if I had any kind of pinky nude color, these would be better as far as sheerness than the others. I got another. I think this might be the last pair of bike shorts I have. But there are these little dollar, dollar bill ones. Okay. This is another one that I got in the straight sizing. Let's say these just barely fit me and it's not too tight or nothing. They're just fitted. So that are these shorts. Uh let's see. So I got a bunch of like dusters and stuff I'm gonna show off now. So these are easy, I can just throw these on and show them. So I got this rainbow one. <laughs> Ooh, it's kind of hot for anything with sleeves. <laughs> okay. This is more of a uh, nightgowny one, but I don't know. I like it. It's kind of dainty doesn't exactly match the uh, ensemble I have going on here but it's very cozy this uh, mesh is very soft now we got this lovely lovely pastel rainbow one which I was absolutely in love with and now this was in regular sizing and it said it was a large which is only supposed to like and their uh, sights thing says it's only supposed to fit like a US 810, but like, look at this thing. It's perfect. Like, it wraps all right around my body. It's long, glorious. I think this thing was like $12, maybe? Maybe? Well, minus the discount. I have this little basic little mesh over shirt. Just like this little star one this fabric isn't as soft as the other ones but still not bad it's not like completely scratchy it's a little more scratchy than the other ones but i think this one i literally paid like four dollars for so i'm not tripping <laughs> okay i have this hoary style top which is really cute We have this little mesh tee, which I'm just going to throw on over this. Very stretchy, soft mesh. Does remind me a bit of like some of the little shirts I've gotten from Dallas Kills in the past. Same sort of material. That one's pretty cute. And I got another one over here. Which is 
this little angel one. Which, the only thing I don't like is this neck's a little bit higher than I usually like, but eh, I mean, I might be able to do something with that. I just don't like the way it's like rubbing the front of my neck here. Maybe if I tuck it? I don't know. I'll figure something out. <laughs> and this little wrap. So, this is this little wrap. This is super cute. And it has these strings. So you crisscross and wrap it around the back. I have this in another. I have some white, I believe. Wherever it is in my pile. <laughs> right, here is the white one. Isn't that cute? These are so soft, too. Oh my god. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I have this little bikini set too. Which is like this, like, hello top and bottom. Though I think these bottoms look a little bit long to me. I'm not sure. Well, they probably do fit. That's just, you know. Bikini line a mess, y'all. Work in progress. <laughs> I don't feel like messing with that right now. Okay, I got this like overdress thing. It's so long! <laughs> of course, this is me wearing over my dress I'm wearing today. I feel like this would work with a lot of my summer dresses. It has its buttons up all the way at the top. It actually looks pretty good with this. But I'll say it's a little warm right now. <laughs> Just a little warm. This right here is another overdress. I really like this one. I think it's really cute. And it honestly goes with a lot of my little summer dresses. It just gives it a little extra flair. Just a little extra flair. A little flounce. Wee. Here's another little duster thing. I guess it's a little harder to see all over my black dress here. But it is cute. Okay, I got this like little marijuana print sheer t-shirt. Which I can just throw over what I'm wearing. You can tell it has these little cutouts. It's a no longer tea. Okay, we got this little crop top over shirt. And this crop top over shirt is like a like a more fitted thing. It definitely kind of like enhances the girls. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> and I have another overdress. This one comes with a slip, but since I'm already wearing a dress that basically works as a slip for this, I can just throw this bitch on with what I'm wearing. <laughs> it looks like this kind of like cute little t-shirt ribbed. And this material is like this cute kind of sheer. I don't know how well this is coming off on camera, but I have another one of these. This was near the bottom. I got this is similar to the lavender one I was showing earlier, but it's a like a diluted mint color. <laughs> these faces. Another little duster. This one has some bell sleeves. Very casual look. Comfy soft lace. We got another little... I think this is a wrap. Yeah. This little tie around wrap shirt. This lace... I mean, this mesh isn't as soft as some of the other ones, but it's not scratchy either. But this is just a like, cute little daisy print. It's 
sweet little thing. And also have this is a wrap shirt too. Okay, this one I think is like heckin' cute as hell. Like, I love this like kind of poofed out sleeve. There, that shows it off better. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Okay, this was the one thing where I was like, I have to have this. This is one of the things that was being advertised on Facebook. I wasn't sure if it was gonna look like the picture, but then I saw a YouTuber that I follow bought this exact same thing and then I was like, okay, fuck it, we're finally just gonna do our order. But like, oh my god, this thing is glorious. And this is probably the most expensive thing I bought and it was like $22. Look at this freaking glorious. It comes in white, lavender, and black. Look at this, I'm so short. Like, this is made for someone a little, a little bit taller than me. But like, oh, oopsie. Anyway, yeah, it's made for someone obviously a little bit taller, but I don't know. I just feel like a feel like a princess. Okay, this is my next dress. You see, it's got this little scoop neck thing here. Of course, I'm not sure like what the best kind of bra would be. I can slide my straps down, but they'll move around a lot, but. Next up, I have this asymmetrical dress. Um, kind of looks a little wonky with my bra on me. I will say you, you'll need to wear a slip. As you can see, it's kind of see-through. Uh, very see-through so ooh, though I like the style of it uh, I mean luckily I have slips so that's good but yeah I thought this was gonna be dual lined but it's definitely not this is the next dress this is the color this lace is a little cheap and scratchy I mean you can hear it a little ASMR for you guys fabric is pretty lightweight and comfortable, so that's always a plus. Okay, the next dress I'm gonna try on is this little yellow dress. It has these little faux buttons on the front, which they seem to be sewed on alright. This bottom one probably needs a little reinforcement. but. I mean, I guess you don't really need to reinforce them as much as, say, something that would actually be holding it together. They're literally just for decoration, so. And here is this dress. It is slightly sheer, but if I wore a nude undie or a yellow one, you went, it's like, you can see my black underwear, so. That's noted, don't wear dark underwear with this one and you'll be fine, because otherwise it's good. It's got these little flouncy poof sleeves. And actually this fits me pretty good. I had a moment there where I realized my camera was sitting a little lower than it usually is. So I found a little box to set it on. So hopefully I'm not cutting my head off as much. <laughs> Um, the next dress is going to be this sparkly emerald. Eee. I really love this thing so much. It, it might be like a little loose. I probably could have sized down one, but. I actually think this might have been one of the last two dresses that were left, so I can't remember if the next size down was even available. It's been a few weeks, but...
I just, it's really comfy and really like pretty. And I think I look pretty good in like a jewel tone, maybe. Next, I'm gonna be trying on this two-piece set, which is the same print as that bodycon dress from earlier. So, here is the two-piece set. It has this little peek-a-boob situation. It's a little crop top. And a square skirt. And it's got a little button in the back of the neck to hold it together. There's like a little keyhole in the neck. So, oh, I'm like, I'm on my knees. <laughs> no burpee. <laughs> the next set I'm trying on is this little like four screen pokey dot set. Okay, I like to style this. For this one, I'm gonna need to find a different bra that will work better for this, but you can scrunch this too and tie it. And the skirt is tiered. Oh, almost lifted my skirt too much. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm trying to cover my bra straps. It's a little hard. Huh, well, actually, that's not too bad. It just got caught in the back of them. I do really like this little outfit. The next thing I'm going to do is some, some shirts. So I have this cute little polar crop top long sleeve dino shirt. shirt. Okay along with this shirt I decided to uh, put on this little skirt that I also got. It has these little suspender bits that you can uh, wear or not wear, so I'm not wearing them. This top's really cute. If you don't like crop tops though, you probably won't like this, but I like crop tops because I'm very high-waisted. Look at this naughty-ass cat. She knows she's guilty. She turned on Dad's computer. Why are you doing that, huh? You know you're not supposed to be laying up on this stuff. That's daddy's computer. You knocked the mouse, you turned it on. Why did you do that? Huh? Why'd you do that? <laughs> She's so intense. Okay, this is the next shirt. And I'm just gonna say this shirt is just made so awkwardly, like, it looks so much better in the picture, like this, this, this crap don't really make a whole lot of sense. It's, it's just, ugh. I'm just disappointed with this one, it's just like really awkward. I don't know how to make it, like it's got this crisscross thing, and these are supposed to lay flat, but they want to like flop up. I feel like I need to like tack, tack these down, so they actually stay down and back instead of like rolling up constantly, so that's kind of crap. I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this. Of course, this is just a little rainbow tank crop top. Simple little rainbow. Next up, I absolutely adore this. This is this strawberry peasant pleplum, pleplum top. It's really cute and the sleeves are really flouncy and poofy and it fits really nicely. I think I got this in the regular extra large size if I remember correctly and I only paid like five dollars for the shirt isn't it and it's nice it hugs me just right. <laughs> We have another long sleeve little crop top that has this cute little button up. It's got a little preppy rainbow child vibe. <laughs> I think it's really cute. I didn't button the top button though because I don't necessarily like things like, well, oh wait, there's another button there. I don't like buttoning the top button on shirts like this just because I don't like them like rubbing on my neck, so, but yeah. 
Okay, this shirt is actually a swim top, so it has like a built-in bra, but like, you wouldn't know that just by looking at it. And this is, I really, I really like this, because I don't have to wear the bra with it, it's already in there. <laughs> of course, it's really cropped, it's like right under the bust, so. Okay, this is supposed to be a sports bra, but unfortunately, I just, it's way too big. Like, way too big. Uh, like, yeah, it fits more like a, like a cami, which, I don't know, I might keep it for that. I don't, I'm kind of like, meh on this one, honestly. So this is actually a swim top, and it came with these uh, sh swim bottoms, but I don't know, I think it kind of looks cool as like a like alternative crop top thing. And you could wear like, uh, you know me and all my mesh shirts, <laughs> you could definitely wear one of those over it. We got another little, it was a swim set, but okay, look at these, these is ridiculous. Whose crotch is that long? My charade? That, that don't make sense. Like, this is probably some of their swimwear where, like, I need a bigger top because I'm large breasted, but these bottoms are just like too much. But I mostly got it for the top anyway, and it was clearanced out, so, like, I'm just griping a little bit. I think this is really cute. It's another, like, swim top that came with some matching bottoms, which, these ones are a little bit better. They're still, I don't know, they just feel kind of, like, high crotched. <laughs> I like this little, like, flouncy ruffle. See, I'm somebody else, like, I'll wear a swim top as a crop top and like, or under like netted shirts depending on the style of it. I don't know, I like to kind of style things a little differently. Also, my damn cat turned on my boyfriend's computer again. She keeps like hitting things with her paws. I don't know what she's even hitting. Okay, this is another one where it should have been sized down, honestly. It's just a little too loosey-goosey, too, too, too much fabric needs to like, be taken in a few inches. But that's the thing with some of the sizing on Shein, just like, most of it's good, but some of the plus size items, like, I know some of like, the bikinis and the um, sports bras and stuff, the sizing is a little wonky on. So just be careful hey we got another like pleasant pleasant well I do look pleasant don't I no peasant blouse or peplum blouse I would definitely wear a white bra and not that lavender thing but just for demonstration this is what I'm wearing right now because this does have some sheerness to it so you can see it displayed here just to get an idea of what it is. It is what it is. Also, I love these sleeves. This is very milkmaid. My hair is just, just, I don't like it right now. It's just a hot mess. All right, this is the last like peasant floss thing I have to try on. And this one is super adorable. Also, the damn cat turned on the computer again. She laid on the keyboard. I don't want to do her. I'm like trying to get the full view. I love this though. Like, adore it. And this was in the regular sizing stuff. This was their, what's well, usually supposed to be their size 12. But as I say, with their items, it really depends on the item. Some things are more true to size, some things are larger fit. So, just, like I said, pay attention to the measurements and reviews. Okay, this was a three-piece set. It has the 
bike shorts and the sports bra and this little like netted dress thing. I do like this set though I would probably wear this like with something else. Uh, I mean black sports bra, black bike shorts, good for anything. And for the fourth time this freaking cat turned his computer on again. So I think I'm gonna have to remove her from the premises. Security cat, security. Okay, I have this dress here. I feel very like carnival barker in this thing. I don't know. It's a very lightweight fabric. It has this little tie around thing. But I'm not sure how to tie this to make it look nice. Oh look, the cat finally got down. It's like I moved his keyboard over on his uh stand for his VR glasses so she won't sit on it again, but now she finally got down. Okay, got two more items to show. I got this little yellow plaid unit and then this rainbow sports bra. Now this is another one where I should have sized down it. It's not as loose as some of the other ones, but that's not, not what I, I wanted it to be more fitted. So. I'm, I'm just a little disappointed with that one too. But like at some point, like you get like one free return on each order. So it's like some of the items I pay so little on that I'll figure out a way to make them work or I'll just give them to a friend. I'm not even gonna trip out about like a $4 bra if I, if I fucked up, you know, so. Speaking of items I fucked up on sizing, this. This is just major sad vibes. I just, I fail, man. I just can't even, apparently. So I'm getting, like, this was, some of these things that were I really screwed up on were for my first order. I did a couple separate orders to kind of get an idea for how the sizing was. So yeah, I kind of goofed on a lot of my earlier orders. Like, now I'm kind of like, I'm used to on AliExpress kind of going, ordering a size up and it fitting better. Because I'm used to the sizes on there being a little rough. Shein is a little more accurate, though some things will run a little big and some things will run a little small. This is where the reviews come into factor. So. Me feeling it out, it, 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 it is a disappointment, but lessons learned. Okay, I do like this one. If it fits, it works. It's like this. this bralette, swim top, whatever you want it to be. So, good on that one. Okay. <laughs> I kind of love it. Even if it's not like exactly my size it's definitely from the regular sized items and I'm a little smushed in but like it's sexy I don't care <laughs> I mean maybe maybe I could adjust myself a little better now the string is a little got some like elasticity to it um, it'd probably be better to have something a little more taut to kind of hold it together better but <laughs> feeling kind of badass with this yeah here's one that fits pretty good it's all like a little bralette thing it's got these little flowers on it so this is a thumbs up for me. I did good on that one. Okay, this is a bikini top. It definitely has this like push up thing going on, which looks nice. It gives a nice little ooh shape. So that's cool. Um, I will say it is kind of a little smushy dushy. My boobs are pretty big. And the way this is designed, these cups are a little too small, but like the back band and stuff fits. I just wish this part like you can tell up close that this needs to be larger this little cup thing because this is where 
so I got spillage on the bottom and the top but like otherwise I like it okay if this is a swim top this one could have been sized down but it's like not too bad maybe only like a couple inches honestly like I could wear this to go swimming and it'd be fine honestly so it's not horrible this is not our bikini set this is the bottoms for it like yeah I'm putting that right so that's the bottoms this top I didn't exactly do the lacing quite right so it's not sitting like it fits it's just not sitting the way it's supposed to because I kind of goofed the lacing and this cup in here is like crooked there you go yeah they do have usually the cheap little inserts that like the fold up but I mean it is what it is okay I love this I think this is cute uh, it's got like this ribbing on it and then spiking so it's like this little like crop top like summer fun shirt I don't know whatever you want to call it but it keeps me pretty well supported <laughs> so that's good I'm going to try so I got one of these things one of these like sticky bra things this was the biggest one they had so we'll see if one of these actually works on me that's gonna be an experiment okay so this is before I've um, tried to do the little thing I can tell you like the area they give you to like protect your nipple that doesn't have sticky gel is very small for a big breast woman so <laughs> let's see well Hmm. And it has this little thing. I mean, it keeps them from like being slouching this way, which is good, but there's no, no support bringing them up. I mean, I guess that's kind of what I expect from it. I mean, it's good if you have like a dress or something that's backless, but my glues are just like way too big <laughs> for this sort of thing but I, I just I really wanted to test one just to see how they were okay this is the next top I'm wearing that little bra thingy under it actually you can see the little straps hanging out but and like maybe this is the kind of thing I wear it with just to kind of keep them in place it gives some support <laughs> a very small amount but yeah the only thing I don't like is that I already ripped a freaking little sequin out of this which sucks damn little sequin stickers but the last thing is this skirt this bodycon skirt that has pockets on it isn't that nuts a skirt with pockets what is this madness this bow, or this string is literally just sewn in here, like, it's just really just to, like, make a little bow. I don't know. It is what it is. I do, like, the dollar dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so that's everything. That bra, that sticky bra thing. Like, it wasn't like super painful, like waxing is a hell lot more painful, but it was just like, just watching it peel away from your skin, it was just like tick, 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 tick. Yeah, I don't know, it's like some, I'm trying to think, you know when you get like a face mask, it peels a little bit harder than that, like a little more tuggy than your standard peel off face mask, so it's a little, because mm, some of it was on my nipple and that was the worst part. Even though there's like literally an area like this big that to protect your nipples that doesn't have sticky stuff on it. And my nipples are definitely not that small. It would look really weird if they were for the size. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> so, that's everything for this massive Shein haul. I've been 
trying on clothes for hours. Oof. So, that's everything. You can subscribe if you want, because I post random shit. Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow.